Hey guys, this is Developer Dude. Welcome to our brand new tutorial series where we will be building a restaurant website from scratch. In this series, we will dive deep into HTML and CSS. And by the end, you will have a front end restaurant website to showcase. Don't forget, you can also get the source code. Link is in the description. So, without any further ado, let's start this video. Now it's time to create our section 2. This one section, okay? To create this, go back to our index.html file, wrap this section 1 and in this under this section 1 create section 2 dot sec2. Oh sorry, I used CSS property here. So right here sec2 and in this sec2. create a div with class image and add image here location images folder and image 2 now after the image div create another div content ok and in this create a h2 h2 element right here about us ok and uh, create a h1 element and write heading here we provide healthy food okay now add some paragraphs like right here is lorem 30 so this will add 30 para 30 words okay let's save it refresh it you can see here how this is looking like images images added and text is as it added content has been added so now style it go to our CSS file and in this CSS file target section 2 to do that right sec2 right here display flex align item center justify content space between and uh, padding 0 to top to bottom 0 and left to right 5% okay let me show you what happened okay this is our project that we are creating refresh it so you can see display flex we used now target image div and target image element width should be 40 vw and the maximum width of this image should be 600 pixel okay save it refresh it nothing has changed now target sec2 dot content in this set maximum width of the content should be 40 vw okay now it will show it will look little good a bit good okay now let's target h2 sec2 dot content sorry dot sec2 and we are targeting h2 element add font family so let me tell you how you can add font from google font using google font like any font that uh, is not available you can add it using google font from outside
search here for google fonts click on this google font search here for the font this font click on it mm, and right click here get font get embedded and click here import copy this import url to all this control c copy it now paste it in our CSS file on the top here control V ok save it now let's get back to our code in this font family now you can add that wait font family yes. cursive right here write the name of the font let's check it out if it is working so it is working like we have added this font from google fonts okay so if that font didn't work we will use our default font cursive okay now change the color first font size let's change the font size to 30 pixel and after that uh, no 45 pixel let's give this let it to 30 pixel and uh, color should be color rgb 241 147 and 73 save it now you can see it looking pretty good like same as this one okay now let's style the heading and uh, paragraphs target sec2 and h2 font family sorry again not, not again in sec2 dot content content div and target h1 in this give it color rgb 57 30 33 and 55 font size should be 45 pixel and uh, margin bottom 15 pixel font family should be Cambria okay save it let's see h1 so you can see font family has changed color has changed and the space is added here now let's target the paragraph tag dot sec2 dot content p color rgb 109 97 and 110 same as that paragraph color margin bottom should be 30 pixel and font size should be 15 pixel and line height should be 25 pixel save it refresh it 
so you can see line height means the space between them this line this line and the space here so line height means this margin bottom 30 pixel color has changed font size has changed okay so line height means the space between these lines okay so here we are done with our section 2 you can see so we have completed our section 2 thanks for watching this video if you enjoy this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you never miss an update leave a comment below with your thoughts and let us know what you would like to see next and don't forget to click the bell icon to get notified whenever we post a new video see you in the next video